what is up guys how is everybody doing i am tiff welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome make sure you're subscribed so you know when all my future readings come out this is a general reading it's not going to resonate for everybody take what resonates leave what doesn't don't force it to fit your situation if you would like a personal all that information is in the description box below um the first song that was channeling was foolish games by jewel and then the second part is the second song well because i like meditated on this energy for a while and then the second song was like M morgan wallen last night last night we let the liquor talk can you remember everything we said but we said it all i don't know you told me that you wish you were somebody and then that she's over here these foolish games are tearing me the tear in me. So I'm like, okay, what's going on here? Let's get the tea. Um, and there is something that this person is trying to build, okay? But whatever it is that they're trying to build, it's almost like they could be asking you for money or asking you, like, to help them on some kind of investment, okay? But the problem is that this scheme or whatever this, this is that they're thinking or that they have in mind it's not gonna work itself out okay i feel like um it's like a domino effect like if one, one domino was to fall everything else would start falling too okay and so whatever this dream or whatever it is that they want you to um to you to get in on it's almost like you're ignoring it because you can kind of you don't want to hurt this person's feelings, but there's an energy of you kind of ignoring the conversation, trying to move on, you know, trying to uh, get away from get away from that type of conversation, acting indifferent, okay? Um, because if you were to tell this person the truth, like, it's not going to work out. This shit, it, 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 trust me, from the beginning to the end, it, it does not sound like a good idea. This person is almost like stepping on attack, right? Like, it's going to hurt the fuck out of them. And it's going to hurt their feelings. And then they're going to, like, get in their ego and probably try to make space from you, Okay. So I feel like if there is something that they are trying to like get you involved in or like telling you like I want to do this and this but I need this amount to do this and I need you know this for this it's like you, you're you seeing from the jump like this isn't going to work it's not it, 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 it's not going to play off the way this person thinks you don't want to just be blunt and be like uh, uh, dumbass this isn't going to work <laughs> you know what I'm saying like so it's like it's almost like you try to avoid and move on from that conversation and then they bring it up again you see what i'm saying i feel like because you are kind of ignoring th whatever this is that they are trying to work at it can't turn it off see this has something to do with some kind of work something that they are like trying to figure out okay but the thing about you is there's something where you could be like a work addict yourself where like you're making money for real. And this person kind of wants to level up and be on your level. They see that you're making money for real, that you could be shit working like, and you might even be like make broke look good. You know what I'm saying? Like you're working your ass off. You're doing what it takes. You're paying your bills. You're, you're making broke look good. Even if, like, you get paid, it just seems like you're going without. You know, to, to the outside world, it seems like you have your shit together. And that's why they could be trying to tell you about whatever this is they're going on. And they, they're thinking about thinking you might be like, well, I can help you with no. Spirit's like, hell no. Because in your mind, your intuition is already on point. Like, this isn't going to work. Uh-uh. And if I tell them the truth, it's going to hurt their motherfucking feelings.
spreading lies, slandering, bad, bad mouthing, and we had disappointment. Yeah, I don't know. There's just something about this person that it's like they felt like you would be the one that would help them through this situation. And when you didn't, it's almost like And I don't feel like this is like going around spreading. I feel like this person isn't going around talking about you to people. No. I feel like this is you and their communication. And them kind of like slandering and bad mouthing you. And I don't think it's like in a disrespectful like bitch whore. Like nothing like that. Like it's like them just being really kind of hostile and abrasive with their communication and then there it's distortion is sticking out to me so it's almost like they're taking your words and they're distorting them and they're twisting them into almost like what they want to hear and it's gonna make you be like you know like because they wanted some kind of space or like because what they thought was gonna work out isn't working out for them they're they have this face and you're thinking okay like maybe this is gonna make me miss them more or whatever but what it's gonna do when you start communicating with communicating with them is with their slandering and bad mouth and their distortion and their lies perjury bullshit it's just like it makes the space didn't make your heart grow fonder of this person it made you be like, damn, like, you're still over here on this bullshit? Like, what are you mad about? I feel like there's definitely, like, an energy of confusion here. Wondering, like, what this person is mad about. I feel like they want to come up so motherfucking bad. And it's like everything they try kind of fails. And so they're very, very hard on themselves about this, okay? With this hostage uh, in involuntary controlled over numb okay so they've tried to pretend how bad it hurts that everything that they try at they basically fell at okay and that type of energy keeps this person hostage and then they try to numb it and hide it from everybody else how bad it really hurts that they kind of fail at everything that they try at so it keeps them stuck <clears throat> I definitely think, yeah, see, disappointments, unfulfilled, unsatisfied. It's like this this dog, they try and they try, they try, and it's like disappointment, unsatisfaction, unfulfillment, you know, they're just not, they're, they just, everything they fucking try, they fail at. And it's like, you don't want to just point this out. And so it's almost like they take, they're going to end up taking this out on you almost, like their frustration out on you with their distortion. And spirit wants you to stay really calm when it comes to this person because it's going to piss you off like you really could, it could go off on this person. But spirit is like, no, stay calm, stay calm because right now they're in a very, very bad place. They're in a very distorted personality. And this doesn't even have to do with like, it's like them. You know, it doesn't even have to do with like fucking with multiple people or all this. It's like them. They're, they're just in this energy where they feel like they're held hostage because they can never get ahead. And then when they communicate with you, they're going to project that onto you. With lies and bad mouthing and try to get a rise out of you. But spirit is saying, no, don't do that. Even though you like when you get off the phone with this person, you might be like, man, I don't ever want to talk to this motherfucker ever again in my life. Right. But then again, here goes the bullshit. Them calling you. Because in all actuality, they're unfulfilled. They're unsatisfied. They're unhappy. With themselves. It's like with themselves. And so they're trying to get a rise out of you. 
and it just just to like I don't know like it's easy to take it out on you and like when even when you get off the phone with this person you might be like oh I, I, I'll never speak with them again like they're so they don't they're crazy you, you know what I'm saying like mm -mm. but I feel like you still will kind of put yourself in your in their shoes and answer for them So there's an energy of them feeling like you're almost like a thirst trap, okay? There could be something about something that you post on social media that this person does not like, all right? Almost like an attention whore, okay? Or it could be the other way around. I'm not calling you an attention whore. I'm just saying the things that you post on, this is how they're feeling, okay? Like maybe you post things purposely to get their attention, right? Um... 11 11 as soon as i looked up how crazy um to pull them in to your energy but the problem is this person was a very very smooth talker okay they came off as very divine they came off as very spiritual they came off like they knew what they were talking about but this could have been the drugs okay this person could have been crunk high and crazy okay they could have been like on an exo, like on something like powder maybe, you know, I don't know, like, I don't think it was like something like crazy like meth and heroin or whatever, but like it was like something that had them crunk up and fucking, I'm seeing pills here, you know what I'm saying, like something that had them crunk up high as fuck feeling good, so they're like really talking on a spiritual level to you. You're feeling them with this smooth talker, right? You, you're feeling all of the shit that they're saying because it's like, damn, here's somebody that's spiritual on the same level as me. And then when they come down, here they are, this, this, this kind of almost empty energy when that high comes down. Isolation, remote and alone. They isolate themselves. They spend a lot of time alone. They, it's almost like if they come around you and then they try to leave fast, like they're not going to see other people. It's not what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing somebody that isolates and spend their, a lot of time alone. And I feel like you're kind of the same way. I feel like this person knows that they have some very fucked up ways. But by isolating themselves and spending time alone isn't going to help them move forward. It isn't going to help them get to their dream. You know, sitting back in, in, in chilling in, in the apartment or in the woods, like popping your little whatever and, and, and tripping out, like that's not going to get you to your dream. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like that's where there's some some distorted energy that comes in is like maybe like after they done, this could even just be alcohol, right? Like they over drink and then they're hung over and the next day they're abrasive, you know, and at the same time, they came off as very divine, somebody that's a smooth talker, somebody that knows their shit, somebody that you respect and... I feel like there's going to be an issue though. Like this person really has a problem connecting with people. Okay. They really, really have a problem with connecting with people. And what they don't realize is that you really, really have a problem with connecting people with people too. Okay. Isolation, remote and alone, self-pleasure, self-satisfying. Satisfying. This person could be um, whacking it. Okay. Or, you know, rubbing one out. Um, to the thought of you, to pictures of you, to thinking about you, all right, during this isolation, which is very weird because these are two people that want each other very, very bad, but it's almost like two loners, okay? It's like, I enjoy my isolation. I, I enjoy my peace. I enjoy my alone time. They enjoy their alone time. 
But it's like they feel like you're going to get mad if they're like, hey, I just want this space. I need to go and do this and that and that. And it's not. Then here these two people are rubbing one out to each other, you know, thinking about each other in isolation, want one another. I feel like you could be trying to get their attention on social media, definitely trying to post pictures and what they, just to let you know, they know that, they see right through it. They know that you're trying to get their attention, okay, by posting this shit. They're stuck on you, okay, and they're trying to act like they're not, all right? They're really trying to numb it like, like they're not stuck on you, but they are. There's this hostage situation where they're trying to act like they ain't, they ain't stuck on you, but they are. They are, okay? They know you're posting these pictures. You could get a lot of attention on social media or wherever it is, and you could post a picture and... um. <clears throat> They know that they're the one per like out of all the likes you get, they know that they're the one person that this picture was posted for. You see what I'm saying? Like they know that this is meant to be. They're fighting it. They're fighting it. They're so hard on themselves. And so they'd rather isolate and act like, you know, I'm just not good for anybody. I'd hurt you, blah, 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 and distort this energy rather than Surrender to it. Hmm. Both of y'all tonight rubbing one out, thinking about each other. <laughs> Hopefully y'all end up together. All right. That's what I have for you guys. If that resonates at all, comment below. Let me know. Until next time, loves. Peace.